five-hour assignment on CRISPR right now. I have to dissect three different cats. I if um, you were wondering if that video is an exaggeration, let me show you the um, amount of content I have for one midterm for one class. Keep in mind that I have five classes in a lab. This is the course load for a singular non-cumulative midterm for one class. Let me show you. First off, we gotta read this paper. Every single thing in this paper is testable. Then this paper, this one's not so bad, it's only four pages. This paper, now all of the highlighted things are not testable, but there's still a lot of testable material in this, that's the acknowledgements. I haven't even finished reading this paper, I have finished reading the first two. The first one I have 15 pages of notes on. So yeah, I've already got through this bit of it. Then we have the lecture videos. Video 1, an hour and 11 minutes. Video 2, 31 minutes. Video 3, 37 minutes. And video 4, 51 minutes. Um, the other three videos were for the last midterm, but I have all four of those videos that I need to watch by Monday. We also have all of the content from a guest lecture that we had that I need to go through and finish up my notes on because I didn't get everything down during the lecture. I have to just finish up on the PowerPoint. So there's that. There's that lecture. We didn't have any actual in-class lectures. Um, all of the lecture content is posted as videos. What we did have is a case study where we had to look at a clinical case of an unknown disease and based on the test results, symptoms, family history, etc, etc, the entire case study, we had to diagnose that patient. Everything from there is testable, including the tests, the symptoms, the test results, the learning outcomes that we came up with as a class together. So every single detail from every single paper, video, um, guest lecture, and case study is testable on this one midterm. Um, had the same thing. This is the second midterm for the course. Had the same thing for the first midterm with an entire different set of I think three papers, three lecture videos, plus the case study, plus one guest lecture. I failed that midterm. I got 35%. I'm going to fail this midterm. I have not even gotten through the three odd hours of lecture videos, which does not include time pausing the videos to take notes. And uh, let's look at my to-do list. I got a neuro midterm, animal physiology midterm, environmental chem midterm, I already did that, um, myths midterm, that's, I'm just gonna wing that one, all of this stuff for the biochem midterm, plus a lab report and a pre-lab, sorry, not lab report, lab assignment, two lab assignments actually, then a lab report next week after that, plus I do actually have to do the lab. That's also not including the readings that I'm ignoring, for most of my other classes to focus on this reading because those can be dealt with later. So, no, that video is not an exaggerate. Can you not? Is not an exaggeration, at least for my experience.